Hey everybody, I'm M. Chen, and welcome to the closest game of Power League I have ever played in my life. So the first thing that you might notice about this game is that we are horribly out comp. Their team is like Crow, Bell, Lola, Brawlers are all super good at area control, and as you can see, we pretty much instantly lose control of mid, so that's not good. However, the one advantage that we have over them is that our Brawlers have better burst damage. Daryl's burst damage is insane, and so is M's, and Jesse's turret can rack up a ton of damage if it's unwatched. Unfortunately, they are watching us really well, as you can see from the fact that I tried and failed to get to their safe. Alright, I'm getting mad now. We gotta gain back control, or else this is gonna be a landslide loss. I'm gonna speed up this portion, which is just an epic tussle happening amid, and none of us really make much progress until now. We finally push back almost every brawler, with the help of Daryl, I'm able to take out the Lola. With that, we have mid control at last. Now we can go after the safe. Jesse goes down, but Daryl gets in some good damage. I get hit by a bell gadget! So I'm not quite able to reach the safe. And I'm dead. Luckily not much is happening in mid, so we managed to retain control. And this is good, because as long as we have mid control, Daryl's gonna be able to rush in and do awesome stuff. We managed to take out the Lola, and I managed to get a very nice sneak kill on the bell. And now I'm gonna speed ahead to the next important turning point, which is right here. This is where I lose a 1v1 against the Crow, which proves to be critical. With 15 seconds left on the clock, we're winning by 2%, but we've also lost mid control. As Jesse's turret takes out the Lola, Daryl's able to get a nice roll onto enemy safe. But, Crow jumps onto our safe. I make a rush to deal more damage, but I don't make it. We lose by 3%. Starting out the next game, I know what we need to do better. We need to get more burst damage. And unfortunately, the only way to do that is by RECKLESSLY CHARGING IN! And after pushing back the crow a little bit, I'm able to do just that and make a beeline to their save. I'm able to get in about 10% on their save before I go down. And as I return, I'm gonna get a very nice gold double kill! And then after that, I'm able to take out the bell. Anyway, despite my reckless charge, and maybe partially because of it, we still have mid control, so I'm gonna charge in again. I'm able to take off another 10%. The rest of this game is just a long and epic battle for mid. Even though we're leading by about 20%, that can easily be taken out if they gain control. Thanks in part to the poking out behind wall strategy, I'm able to get a good amount of kills, twice in the Lola and twice in the Crow. Unfortunately, this is where we kind of lose control, so Lola's able to throw her super over the wall and deal some damage, and also Crow lands a super on her safe. With that, our lead's basically gone, so I'm gonna go in for another reckless charge. This is gonna be great. We've pushed all of them back, so there's really not much resistance. I got hit by a bow gadget AGAIN?! Well, so much for that idea! That's okay, though. We have mid control, so I'm just gonna pull back, heal up, and then I can do another reckless charge. Yeah, except they died. Luckily, Daryl's able to avenge my death by taking out the bell. And now that I'm back, I'm gonna go in for that third reckless charge because there's not much time left and we're not winning by much. Jesse manages to bring their safe to 60%, and I'm able to bring that down to 56%. However, at the last second, Crow jumps in on our safe, but the damage isn't quite enough, and we barely manage to win that game. Alright, this is it, the final match. I'm gonna have to use all the strategies that I learned along the way to win this one. So yeah, not much happens here because I'm truly tryharding now. As per usual, we lose mid-control immediately. Here, I decide to try out a brand new strategy, hiding in the corner. The enemy team is being absolutely relentless with the crow poison and the sniping. Despite using the incredibly overpowered strategy of hiding in the corner, when I go out, I die instantly. With that revolutionary strategy out of the way, I'm going to speed it up again. Things are going pretty well so far, except Crow hit a super on our safe and we lost 20%. And now we have mid control- ANOTHER BELL GADGET?! Are you kidding me? Why did this always happen to me?! I'm so mad! <sighs> okay, anyway, I'm somehow able to dodge a bunch of shots and I killed the Lola. Then, after some deft maneuvering, I'm able to get a kill on the Crow. 
And now that we finally have solid mid control, I'm gonna not recklessly charge in because both of my teammates are, and I want to re retain some semblance of control. So now that both of my teammates are about to die, I'm gonna charge in, try to buy some time, and more importantly, deal some damage. Able to get in about 10% before I retreat, and manage to take out the Lola just before I die. And the damage I deal to the bell gets her destroyed by the Jesse turret. Now I'm gonna speed things up again. I get hit by flowing toxin, but Jesse and Daryl are able to deal a good amount of damage. The safe percentages are roughly equal, but they have mid control, so this isn't looking too good. They're racking up the damage in her safe, but Jesse is somehow able to sneak over to enemy safe and nail some damage on it. I come back just in time to kill Crow, and we're somehow able to clinch the final game. That last game easily could have been lost, by the way. As you can see, with one second left, we are losing by 1%. It's only because of that single Jesse shot that we won. Plus, Crow and Lola are right there on our safe. If they had just landed a single more shot, we would have lost. Not only that, but you can see here that with two seconds left, Bell misses a shot. And obviously, if that shot had hit, we also would have lost. So yeah, that was the luckiest game I have ever played in my life. They say she's too wrapped up in herself. Hashtag haters. I hope you enjoyed watching this video because this took a painfully long time to edit. So if you want to see more videos like these, subscribe or click on an end card. Probably easier. Also, if you want a Power League update, I am now a Mythic 1, so all of that effort did not go to waste. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.